Hello everyone and welcome to this demonstration video of Attendance Reader. This video is meant to show how you can use the app as a trainer to track attendance in your classes. Once you've downloaded the app from the iOS App Store or the Google Play Android Store, you will arrive at this screen. You will be able to see the Institute dropdown that is used by our university clients, but in your case you'll most likely log in through the public server. In this case we click on Login with Public Server and I am a trainer. Now, you'll be able to register an account in different ways. You can use external identity providers like Google, Microsoft, or Apple. And for any of these, you will have to agree to a terms of conditions first. And you can also register an account using your email. For this, you just fill in your name, surname, and email address, and you'll be able to register an account. You'll receive a, an email to set up your password, and then you'll be able to use the, the email and the password you just set to register the account. In this case, we've already registered an account and we're just gonna log into it using the normal login and email, uh, password and email way. Once you've logged in to Attendance Radar, this is the screen that you will see. You'll be able to see all of the courses that you have created, as well as the settings screen. This shows that in which you can change your name and surname. Um, you can change your password and you can delete your account as well. And the help screen, which has a legend for all the symbols uh, in the app. The user manual that you can use in case everything anything's not clear. As well as the feedback button, which you can use for support as well if you'd like to. Now I'm going to show you how you can create a course. When you create a course, it'll ask for the course title case we're gonna put Spanish 101 and you may notice this disable push notifications button push notifications are a premium feature we have in the app which basically emits a push notification whenever you're meeting for attendance so students can quickly click on this push notification go into the app and track their attendance however we know that in some cases you may want to disable this and this is what this button is for in this case we're just gonna disable them once you've created the course, it'll ask you to create the first session for that course. One Another premium feature of the app is that you can also create repeating sessions. So say if you have the same session every Friday at 8 a.m., you'll be able to set the date and time of the first session, and then you'll be able to put that it repeats for, for example, five weeks. We click on Save Session, and now you'll see that five sessions were created, each one week apart. Now, in order to track attendance for a course, there's different ways of doing so. And in this case, we'll first show you how you can track the attendance for a session using Bluetooth. In order to track the attendance for a session, you click on the admit button for that session. After that, you'll start the meeting. This emission lasts up to 15 minutes, but it can be stopped earlier if you choose to. And after just a few seconds, you'll be able to see as students start to mark their attendance. As you see, students have started to mark their attendance. You can scroll down to see all the students. And after just 20 seconds, as you see from the timer, all students in this class have marked their attendance successfully. You can check the attendance of a particular course as well without having to go onto a mid screen. For this, just click on this button and then you'll be able to see the whole record of the attendance. And please note that Bluetooth is not the only way that you can track attendances. Attendances can also be tracked using a manual code or manually. To show you how to do this, I'm going to create a new session. You need to scan and then you can generate a manual code which you can share with your students. And this is mostly used to track attendance for online sessions. And you can also mark students manually. You can mark also students as excused. And as part of the premium package, you can also mark students as late and add a note to their attendance. So in this case, I'm gonna put this student was late because all of this can be modified from the alternative screen and you'll also get a record of when a student was marked as present, late, excused or absent, as well as the notes on the Excel export, which I'm shown, going to show later how you can access it. In addition, you can add new students from another course in onto your course 
um, or you can create a new student account by filling the name, surname, and email address. And please bear bear in mind that when you do this, the students will create uh, will receive an email so that they can set up their passwords um, in order to to create their account. Finally, you can also remove students from a course, and there is also a possibility of filtering within the same course for the different sessions. So you can filter for those that have sessions in the past, sessions today, or sessions in the future. Uh, and this can be done with all the courses as well. So you can also filter courses by whether the, their sessions they have sessions in the past, today, or in the future. And that is basically all there is to see for the app. We try and keep it very simple, very easy to use for trainers. Now we will go over to see how you can use the web portal. Thank you very much. Welcome to the web version demo of Attendance Reader. In order to access the web version of Attendance Reader, you need to go to app.attendancereader.com and then you'll arrive at this screen. Once again, you have the Institute dropdown that is used by our Institute users. In our case, we're just logging in with the normal public server. We're selecting the Reader Trainer. And once again, you can register an account from the web using Google, Microsoft, Apple, and you can also sign in to the web using any of these. In this case, we're just gonna use the normal email and password login. Once you've logged in, you'll arrive at this screen. You may remember from the mobile app demo video that we created a course called Spanish 101. This is exactly the same course that we had previously created. And here you can also see the Economics 101 course for which we actually did record some attendances that you may still be able to see here as well as a note that we put um, for one of the attendances. In the web portal, there's much more things that you can do that are not available in the app. One of these is, for example, to access your course archive. This is a premium feature of the app that will allow you to delete courses and then if you want to later on restore them. And this allows you to basically clear up your app of old courses that you no longer need, but you may want to access the attendance records and the subscriptions and information of that course later on in the future. As well as in the mobile app, you also have the filters that allow you to filter through the courses depending on when their sessions are happening. And this can also be present within a, a specific course for the sessions of that course. Now, some of the most innovative features of the web version are the ability to, for example, import your courses. So you can import an Excel file that you need to follow a specific format for. You can also add external IDs if you'd like, uh, as well for session external IDs for the specific sessions. And then you'll be asked to fill in the, the course title, um, as well as all the session information, such as the session date, the session time, and the session duration for all the different sessions. And then you can import these and you can import up to a maximum of 20 courses with up to a maximum of 20 sessions um, per course imported. Um, this will allow you to set up your app very easily from the web version. However, that's obviously not all there is to it. You can also export attendance records onto Excel. Let's export one that actually has some information. And this is how the course export looks. Obviously, in this case, there's only one student for this course, but you can imagine a situation where you have 50, even 100 different students in a course, although you can have much more than that. And you'll be able to see for all of the different sessions, whether they were marked as present, late, excused, or if they were marked as absent, this will just be uh, empty. And you'll be able to get the percentage of attendance to that session and the percentage of attendance of that student to all the sessions of the course. As well, you'll also be able to get a per session um, per session export that shows you the time and date at which attendance was tracked, as well as any comments that you may have added to their attendance. Um, and yeah, that's basically how the Excel export looks like. And finally, you can also, from Excel, import students. So you can import the student list the Excel export looks like this. And you'll be required to input their name, surname, and their email address. And if you want to, optionally, you can also import the student numbers of the different students. You can re-import to update as well students.
Additionally, you can set up everything in the normal way you had in the app. You can add new students that have not registered an account. You can add students from another course if you wish. Um, and another thing that you can do from the web version is look at these types of charts. Well, this one's this one does not have data, but in this case, for example, you can look at these types of charts that will show you how the tendencies of that course changed between um, between the different sessions, like this. And you can also compare the attendances of multiple courses, um, which you can just select to remove some. These are all images as well, so you can just copy, copy and, and download them if you'd like in order to share them with someone else. And you'll also be able to get all the information of your subscription in case you went for a premium subscription. Here you can also buy subscriptions for other people, do group purchases of subscriptions that come at a discount price. Um, and this is all possible to do from the web version of the app. And there's basically all there is to it for the web version. Once again, very simple, very easy to use. We try and keep this that way for all our applications. And this concludes the demo video for trainers of Attendance Rare. Thank you very much for using our app. And if you have any questions, you can always reach out to us through the contact page in our website, or you can also use the support, um, the feedback button in the app to contact us. Thank you very much for your time.